Right. I always say right then, don't I? I was right down there a minute ago, came through a gate there with some sheepers. Behind the other side of that hedge, all the way down to the church, which is hidden behind that little wooded area. There are the other ways up, apparently, you can do, which I haven't done. There's lots of little pathways. I've just climbed up the rather steep steps there. There's all the scenery around us. You get panoramic views here. Um, over there we've got Crook's Peak in the distance. There it is. Crook's Peak, which I will be doing not too long time. I like to get these big walks done while there's light evenings, just in case there is a problem and you can get the you can get the walk done. Oh, it's lovely that breeze. Oh, that's a beautiful breeze. I'm doing the video first because um you can't do it if the people if lots of people were up here now it'd be difficult. Um a lot of people wouldn't have come up here today um because it's hot. Mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun and mad women. Mendip Hills, which I know and love. I know them. And right over there, look at my beautiful Quandocks. As far as the eye can see, I've walked on them. I've walked all around them. I've been right up in the very distance in the mist. On that big hill right over there above Minard and Kilv. I've been up there, not Kilv, um, Borlock. And we've got the bus, you can hear the hum now of the motorway. The busy M5 and the A38. <sighs> There's the, the gap there, looks bigger now, where all the traffic is, is going. Um, it's a Tuesday. I'm not going to wander off, you're more likely to pick up a tick. I'm just going to go around the edges. Here's the beacon. Coronation Bonfire 1902 or 7 and uh, 2013. Uh, Jubilee Bonfire 1887 and 18, yeah, 1887. To commemorate the 90th birthday of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, 11th of June 2016. Now, if I've got that, which I can't remember, it means I did come up that year. That's four years ago, but I might have come up in 17. I don't know. I can't remember. It feels more like 16 or even 15 I was up here last. But sometimes I come up from the other way. So it's a possibility that I parked down there and just come up and had a wander around two years ago. I didn't do all that. So we've got Hinkley Point over there. The River Parrot making its way up through to over to Bridgewater. You've got, and then straight over there, lined up with Brent Knoll, is my beautiful, beautiful Glastonbury tour. Look at it. It says, hi, Sheila. Hi, Sheila. Everyone on there saying, I've got to do you yet. You haven't been up there for two years. I'm going to walk around and I'll take photos on the second way round and I'll be going down the other side but I'm going to walk around this is an ancient hill fort by the way um, I don't know I'm going to look it up one day I haven't looked up all the history of the footings and everything here but it was definitely um, a very very powerful fortification this place was right in the distance it's like a runway you can see a silver line that is the m5 with all the cars on it looks like everything's moving looks a bit slow there though three lanes they look like they're creeping a bit there's always delays on that motorway all the time people tired crashing people having breakdowns <sighs> When I was a child, coming up here, there was no motorway here. 
they'd only just really started to plan it I mean it was happening of course it might have been a stretch I'm not sure I can't remember now all I know is it didn't really get going till the late 60s up this way um, so I can't remember exactly I'd have to look that up as well but I'm sure when I was a kid we never had that no we didn't so here we've got another little monument cows come up here by the way um, this is just showing you directions where everything is the Queen's Golden Jubilee in 2002 it's just showing you where everything is on here Glastonbury Wells, Cheddar, Crook's Peak Crook Peak they call it Brecon Beacons Hexmoor, Quantock Hills so that's what that is just, so if you want to know where everything is just find it and look Hinkley Point 14 miles that way beautiful Glastonbury how far is that from here 20 it says 21 miles from here to, to there you think you could just do a couple of big giant steps and you'd be there apparently that's 21 miles and all these fields have got significance because if this was like a bailey like this was like a hill fort or a castle or anything like that that all this area would be bailey below us and this would be protected inside here I'm going to look it up. I definitely will look it up. That that wind is absolutely beautiful. That wind. <sighs> yeah, I'm not going to leap about in the grass. No, I'll stay on the main path, I think. So you get a good view of Somerset from up here. Not all of it, of course, because Somerset stretches over to another sea. Over that way near Lyme Regis and all that it's a big county but this this is one of my reference points Brent Knoll Crooks Peak Glastonbury Tor Breen Down Steep Home and then other features on the Quantock Hills like the um, Dowbra I can't remember how you pronounce it now Hill Fort which is a big mound uh, and then another great big, uh, another even bigger place further over near Porlock. I can't remember the name of what I've been on it. There aren't many churches I haven't done round here, by the way, either. I've done most of the churches around here. I've done them all the way to Porlock and beyond. Yeah, I've done quite a few churches near the Quantock Hills now. Um... And to be quite honest, I feel that all this is my, my, my zone. I mean, there's Froome, there's Shepton Mallet. Um, I go as far as Wells. I, I've got like a bit of a boundary that I'm doing. I, because Somerset is so big. Um, I don't tend to go much further than Taunton either. Um, I haven't really been to um, Wellington to do their churches. Uh, even though I think that is very close to the border. Wellington, I think it's still in Somerset. But I haven't done that. I haven't done it. Because I, I've got... Taunton's the limit. Wells is the limit. Porlock. Over that way. Do you know what I mean? Then we've got... I will go up to Bristol. I will include everywhere up to Bristol. Like Porter said. Clevedon. Clifton. They are, they are encompassed in my, my bath, bath included. But I've got so many villages just between here and Bath that I haven't done yet. You know, I'm busy, I've got family tree to do at the moment. And I'm behind with that, I've got so much catching up to do. I'm going to do um, pictures in a minute. Now over here, this is where we'll be going in a minute, to this church of East Brent, down there with the spire, tower and spire, East Brent, pretty little church, well cared for, there's a little village school there, 
There's people we know buried there. I'll be going down the other side of the knoll. Um, as uh, on my ret return trip, and then I'll go and head for Limpsham Church, which is dead straight ahead. The other side of that pole is Limpsham Church. I won't be sort of going in the mall, just passing by. And that's the village of Limpsham where I pick up my bus. You might even be able to see a bus. Because they're blue and they stick out and they're frequent. They're frequent up to about six o'clock. And they're every half an hour. So if I miss one, there'll still be one about half six. Um, just in case I miss one, you know, because I'm not quite sure. I think they've moved the bus stop. I'll have to find out where that is. And people sometimes say, oh, I'm not sure, love. Cows down there, they can stay down there. I won't have to go near them. But they can get up here, see? They can get up here. Now I'm going right round. As you can see, I'm going right round. And I've been able to video it all because there's nobody up here. because it's hotter down there down in the valley if you mean you start climbing up here it's baking hot once you're up here you've got this lovely wind last week I was over Breen Down visiting my sister Valerie who lives over there I went on for a walk on the down I only bumped into her by accident really and I was um, took some pictures of that farm out there And then we got the steep home. And then we come back round again. Come back round to all the views I've already done a few times now round here. I'm going to stop here actually because this is the bit I've done lots of pictures of down here. And I'll be going down the other side of that pole in a minute. So what I'm going to do is turn the video off now and take pictures as I go along. Over and out.